All right, guys, so we've got this on. So now what we need to do is we've got to put our VTX in. And one thing I didn't show you guys because I didn't have it sitting at my desk, and now I just put it somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Hold on. Is the antenna because this comes with your VTX, but this is not what we're using. Uh, there's another piece. Where, oh, here it is. So you're going to be using one of these, right? Something very similar to this. If it's not this exact thing, it'll be very close. And this will actually go in here, and hopefully, I don't know how we're going to get this in here because it's an angled. Uh, let me see. I guess I'm going to have to figure out. I may have to cut that. Uh, this is a this is an angled one, and I have a feeling that's the only way I'm going to be able to get it in is to cut it and then put a zip tie there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, and this isn't what we're working on actually right now, but it just dawned on me. So there. Once I do that, I can fit this in, then you can zip tie it closed, but that's how it'll go. All right, something like, uh, not that one, but this one. All right, anyways, so let's go ahead and start getting our stuff together here. First thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and get our VTX put down because we need to screw that in. Um, and for right now, the best thing I could think of is to just put it in straight up like normal, upright like normal. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to come in and we're going to have it fit down here. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Make sure and you can bend the prop guards out of the way if they're in your way at the beginning. Just make sure you don't get your wire stuck in there in any of the uh, mounting areas because once you tighten this down, you will end up cutting or puncturing the wire then, okay? There, so we've got that in there. Ah, that's going to be fine. I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Let me just make sure. Okay, uh, so these prop guards are actually sitting like kind of right on that. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um... Uh, it's, it may push the prop cards out, just this weird angle, but once we tighten it, it'll be fine. Um, so what we want to do now is put your fasteners on. So these are these nylon fasteners right here. And you're just going to kind of figure out how to get those. Get, you, like I said, you can bend the prop cards out. Um, I would just put the fastener on here and just carefully turn it with your finger to get it started. All right, and then if you want, gently... Um, you can use like uh, one of these just to, oops, to get it to get it started but you don't want to get it you don't want to use one of those when you get too close to the bottom there because the uh, there's components sitting right there so let me just bend that out just a little bit there we go and then I'll just spin this until it gets kind of to the end there and then that's it because I don't need to it's not gonna come off I'm not worried about it so let me do the next one just pull that out just a little bit there you go get it started Hopefully you don't have fat fingers like me, so it'd be easier for you. And if you do have fat fingers like me, then you'll understand my pain here. All right, there's that one, so let me see if I can. Like I said, just, just pull the prop right out just a little bit. It's not a big deal. to see if I spin the bottom here and hold that oh yeah that'll work too so I can spin this bottom screw and it'll it'll just bring that down so I don't have to get a tool too close to the board use my tweezers to hold it okay that's two and then let's go for the third one Go back here, and I think I'll just use that method for the rest of these, actually. Well, this one might be okay, you see? Yeah. I'll just get my tweezers to hold it, and I'll spin the bottom. There we go. All right, one more. And then the VTX will be installed. Oops, not that one. Where's my last one? Oh, there it is. OK, 
Okay, that should do it. All right. And yeah, you're gonna see it kind of rubbing a little bit against the VTX, but if you just kind of prop this back under there, it'll fit okay. So I wouldn't worry about that too much at all. That's not really gonna be a big deal. All right, so our VTX is in and everything's done there. The spacing is good. That's gonna work out just fine. So then the next thing is gonna be to get our camera installed. So I'm not gonna make a new video on that. We're just gonna do this all together. So go ahead and grab your camera. Take that out, okay? And let's get ready to install that. And this is gonna be just big enough to fit the camera and then you can push it forward and you'll line it up with the screw holes right here, as you can see right there. And where are, where is my bag here? I think I put the screws for that. Came with it. Now I just gotta find where I put it. Which I can always use their screws too. That's not gonna be a problem. Um, because they gave us screws for this. As a matter of fact, I don't know where I put mine, but I may just take theirs. So let me take these two. See how they give you these two screws? Those would be perfect. So that if you don't, like me, I don't feel like looking for the bag that I had. Let me just open these two. Let's line this up. Okay, you can see the hole. Just line it up as best as you can. Okay, there's one. Now let's get the other side. Once you get one side, the other side should line up perfectly, so you don't have to worry about it. So just make sure you get that one side lined up. Angle it however you want it. Okay, and that is going to plug into here, just like this. Piece of cake, okay? So, and then that you'll just tuck away. Now, the only other thing really left to do here is going to be to put the, um, to put the uh, receiver where you want it to go. And in this case, once you bind this, you can tuck the receiver up pretty much anywhere you want but they do give you a little mount to use to run the receiver wires out. So I'm going to, I'm gonna unplug this real quick because let's see if I can twist this up just a little bit here. I don't wanna to put too much strain on this because that that's just, I mean, it's put on nicely, but you, you don't wanna break these wires off the camera. And then you can easily fit this up in here. You can hot glue it if you'd like. Um, for me, I just wanna make sure that I have enough space once this is, you know, obviously once you've got this um, bound, now they give you this piece as well with the kit, and that goes on the back right here, and then your antennas come out of that, okay? But we still have to put this antenna in. So what I would suggest is let's go ahead and crimp, let's go ahead and clamp this antenna in as well. This is your MMCX connection. Um, it's something that you can fit in here to just kind of, there it goes, snap it in just like that. And then I'm going to, for this customer here, I'm gonna place this receiver up in this area. I'm not gonna hot glue it yet because the customer still has to get it out to bind it. But once he does that, he can, he can hot glue it or do whatever he wishes. These wires will go up in here as well, okay? And we are going to basically get ready to screw this down. And to do that, and we're not, because I cut that slit open in the back, we're not gonna worry about that antenna just yet. But we need to find the screws that they gave us find those that are the real pointy point here there okay so what we're looking for are these these little real uh, pointy screws with the threads let's go ahead and dump those out real quick okay and you're gonna need a Phillips for this I forgot about that so let me get this hopefully this helps to work okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start in the front and I'm gonna put this screw down through here and it's gonna go into this screw hole right here. Okay, now don't go too much because you'll go right through the 3D print. Then come back in and do the other side.
Okay. Then go to the side and do these. And I see the receivers come out, but like I said, I can't hot glue this down or stick it permanently because the customer's got to take this off so he can bind it. So I don't want to do too, too, anything that's too permanent. So I'm just going to tuck it back up in there when I'm done. And then he'll, he'll take this off and then he will basically permanently put it where he wants it once he's done binding. Okay, but I'll just tuck that back up in there. All right, so that's that screw. Then we're going to put this one. All right, now, at this point, I'm getting a little bit of uh, tension here because, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the antenna in. There we go. That That's perfect, actually, right there. And let's see. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we will put this here. Okay, come to this side, do the same thing. This one. Okay. Now the receiver's still coming out here because, like I said, we haven't put it down permanently yet. But uh, and there's, they sure do give you a lot of these screws. So I would save these. I only need two, of, two more for the back piece. So make sure to save these guys. Anytime a company's willing to give you extras, please take them. I promise somehow you've paid for them. So just take them and save them. You will need them. And it's funny. You'll find that you need them for something completely unrelated. And it's always good to save them. So just have your little bag of goodies there. I only need two more. And that's going to be for this one here. And to do that, what basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this on like this. Let me show you how that's going to go. I think I'll start it while it's on my bench here. There's one. There's two. Okay, so let's line it up. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll take the receiver wire, the antenna wire, and we'll run one through each hole here. So we can go, may need my tweezers for this, so bear with me. One. Let me get this other one. God darn. I'm wrestling with this thing. My whole desk is getting turned around. Alright, let me get this one. Give me a little bugger. Okay, we're going to fight me and this. Let's see, we're going to go around. So let's get this into here. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Then you take these little caps here. They're kind of short, but they'll be fine. Just put it in there. It'll push the remaining wire back, so don't worry about that. Come on, you little sucker. Get in there. Wrestle with it a little bit, and before you know it, you have yourself your drum. There we go, and there you go. So that's the build guys uh it's very easy uh it's not too difficult and like i said i mean you can see the receiver sitting here it could actually sit like that just fine it doesn't have to be tucked up inside uh, it's not coming out everything looks great okay everything is definitely out of the way and clean uh your capacitor is perfect 
I mean, this whole setup is great. This this is what it looks like when you're done. So let me let me give you a let me give you whoops whoa 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 there we go let me give you this. So here it is. This is the build by the time it's done. Now we did I did cut that back piece right so you can run a zip tie right through here if you want and wrap it around to hold that. And I don't see that opening. But there's your kit. This is an analog. It's a very good setup. You can see it underneath. And then your your lipo here. Let me get back to the bench now. Okay, so your lipo strap. Now that's the one thing that could be argued that maybe you should do this before. I I don't know because I I don't feed it through before I build, and so I'll end up having to wiggle this around and and get it to go uh, to get it into my um, to get it to go out the other side here. So this is the only thing that. I really don't like about this because I won't build with the lipo strap in at the beginning. So you just have to kind of work it through. And then if you can, because then you'll pull it out on this, this path here. Uh, if you try to go the other way, let me see if I can grab that. It could be a little bit of a cumbersome thing here, um, but it's not, it's not too bad because there's plenty of room under the flight controller. And so if you can, if you can just feed this through gently, uh, then you can get it to the other side. And then you can push it through on the other side so that'll be just like this and then you basically just grab it from this side so you could come with your tweezers push it down like that all right just takes a little bit of time but i prefer to build without this in my way but i'm going to show you how it can be done because if i don't then people say well that was not going to work and it can be you just have to just have to get it and grab it and go and let me see if i can get that here Come on, turkey. Come on. Now this is a, this is a, this is the personal thing here. So, anyways, if you're of course right now, it wants to give me a hard time. So let me see. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. as I start shredding it. This is only because the cameras are on. All right, there we go. Now I can pull this through and you'll just kind of wiggle it at the beginning and then once it gets going, you're golden. Okay, so just feed it and there you go. Oh my gosh, it usually goes in a lot easier than that. Uh, but clearly right now it didn't feel like doing it. Anyway, so once you put this in, just feed it through little by little and look, there you go, okay? So now you got your battery strap in there. I just don't put it at the beginning. But, I mean, it's not ruined or anything. It just takes a little bit of work. But careful with your flight control. But anyways, so there you go, guys. I mean, that's it. Your build is... Uh-oh. My little antenna popped off. Your build is done. So the next part of this video series is going to be on setting up the uh, firmware and programming the flight controller, which is a piece of cake. So I'll be back with that. Let me just get that in there. Uh, but there you go. Be proud of yourself. It's an easy build. It's a good build. And this thing is going to be fun to fly. Uh, all right. So, listen. Uh, that's, the, that's the building series part of it, right? So I'm going to post this video series right now, uh, and then we will get to the programming part next, uh, which is going to come up. Here's the deal. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, it, is, uh, it is 2 o'clock, and I've got to get ready for my kids. Uh, I'm their coach for football, for their flag football, and I've got to get my plays done because our game is on Saturday. So I'm going to actually cut it out early today. Um, so I'm going to stop. With it. It's March 31st. And I can see my kids tonight, so I'm going to make sure I'm ready for them. Uh, but um, I'm going to cut out early, but I am going to have the programming done tomorrow for you. So for anybody that wants this kit, I've got a handful of them left, man. Enjoy it because it's an easy build. I put it at an extremely affordable price, um, and, uh, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I've got some customers that are flying these things, and they love them. Um, and that's it. All right, guys. God bless. Be safe. I'll be back with the uh, programming part. Uh, and and uh, so check out check out that series. And then please, as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give me some support there. Um, I'd appreciate it. And uh, most of all, go spend time with your family, guys, like I'm going to do. God knows you don't know how much time you got left. Go make the most of it, okay? You can always build this stuff later. Peace, guys. Bye.